Hey YouTube, it's uh, main man here, uh, second hand hunter. Hey guys, it's Dave. So everything you see up there is part of my pickups. And that little critter right there is also part of the pickup. Her name is Sophia. And we got her from a dude off of Craigslist. Don't get up on the computer desk. And she is just a doll. Anyways, let's get on with it now that she's out of there. Got a lot of stuff here. Um, let's start with these. This is one thing my wife got. I think that dude is sh Shadow off of um, Sonic the Hedgehog. He was 50 cents. See, here's a oversized Mickey the Mouse, which is heavy, 50 cents. A Donald Duck, 50 cents. Uh, we got the gold copy of Star Wars box set. I think these are the only ones as well at Goodwill, a dollar a piece, so that was three bucks. Oh, let's see, my coffee cup, which is bigger than the one that I had before, 69 cents. Ah, oh, got a toy for Isabella, that was four bucks. A couple movies there, which I got that at Treasures 2. Um, let's see, Star Trek uh, 4. The Voyage Home. Jurassic Park 3, which that completes my VHS Jurassic Park collection. So that's cool. And a sealed copy of A Christmas Story. The only imperfection, I think, is the corners, maybe. Or maybe it's, yep, that corner right there. But other than that, it's, um,. Perfecto, genuinely goodness, which I don't know why I said genuine because this is genuine, <laughs> but it's um, in fantastic condition, so I'm happy about that. These are a couple of Lizzie's movies that she picked up from yesterday's thrift store. Uh, well, this is a game here. Big bumping, the yeah, big bumping, which is a Burger King game. That was two ninety nine. Fever Pitch, $2.99, which I hate how why, that they put these little sticky things on the side that ruins the movie. Uh, Speed Racer Sealed, $1.99, you see like on the bottom there, whatever. That one's not sealed, Fever Pitch. And uh, Baby Mama, $1.99, I hate that they put that thing on the back, oh well. That's all that the VHS. Or not the VHS, but the DVDs. Let's get to the VHS tapes. Oh, I got tons of tapes. So, I'm just going to get at it. The the clamshells are in that one. These are the soft shell. They're the soft case ones. Let's see, Five O Goes West. American Tail. It's in there. Which I checked all these just to let you guys know. It's honestly, Spirit, Stallion, uh, something, something. Whatever. That's in there. I should put it in the right way, but oh well. See, I got this one for a bell. Mad Madeline. Which, that's in there. She she actually likes that um, Winnie the Pooh movie. What are you doing? What are you doing? Licking your feet? She likes the Winnie the Pooh movie I got, so I figured to get her something else as well. You coming to help me? Um, proof of Life, which this here is a blind buy for me, which there, I had no idea. Oh, sorry kitty. Oh, let's see, Liar Liar, Be figured to get a better quality 
um, once since the other one I have is all beat up. Uh, it's in there. And may I remind you all these were 10 cents per tape and they're going to keep that way. How long Grinchland? Grouchland, I mean. Sorry. That one's in good condition. Which I paid like two dollars and eighty cents or something like that. Kiss the girl. I think this one was off my um, list of movies to get. So I think unless it's Bless the Girl or something like that. So I think that one's off my list or not. But maybe I got a lot of tapes that are on my list. This one here is one that Bell threw in there. Ninja Resurrection, The Revenge of. Uh, Jebeli or something. I don't know which is in there. So that's just something to add to the collection <laughs> as I tip over the tapes. Oh, next one. Baby Geniuses. It's in there. No more of this stuff where I get the tape and not check it out firsthand. Okay, um, Street Sharks. Oh, as I was just saying. What the heck is that? The gene slamming begins? Oh, yeah, that's right. So, that's in there. <laughs> I got worried there for a second. Uh, another blind buy. Dead Presidents. I just got it because it had the soft sleeve. But it's in there. That's cool. Oh, next one. Power Rangers in 3D. Power Rangers Triple Force, let's see, Triple Force, okay, I guess that's what it's called, so let's get that one out of there, and previously in, owned by N-Porn, <laughs> thank you N-Porn, and the top is really sucky, so that's disappointing, but whatever, 10 cents, okay, next one, Elmo, the best of Elmo, and that one's in there. Cool. Next tape. Uh, Disney Mini Classics. The Prince uh, Popro. Prince and the Popper, or something like that. A Mickey Mouse tape. And it's in there. Next tape. What you doing, huh? Beyond the Mind's Eye. It's in there. I had no idea what this was, but it looked cool, so I just decided to get it. I'll review it later. I'll review a lot of these later on. Uh, and the next one, The Gate, the sound movie version to the Mind's Eye, a computer animated Odyssey, which uh, that's pretty cool. I had no idea what it was. Another blind buy, but I just got it because it looked cool, so. That's all of those tapes there. What are you doing? Huh? Let's get the clamshells. Okay, here. First clamshell, which these are actually a lot of Disney titles. Uh, Snow White and the Seven Gold Dwarfs. Oh. That one's in there. You still playing over there? Robin Hood, that's in there. You seriously gonna go behind that pillow? Recess, Christmas, Miracle on 3rd Street, which that's in there, and it says please rewind. Please rewind tape. So that was probably a rental at one time. All right, next tape, Ants. Now I finally have a case for it. Which I have a loose copy as well. And it's in there. And yeah, the clamshell's really good, but it's dirty. Other than that, it's really good. Alright. I'm going to go here and save the best for last. Oliver and Company. Originally, as I was looking through the box of tapes that they had, this was just an empty clamshell. And then I found the tape. And just stuck it in there and put it in my basket. So, happy to have that. And uh, this one here, I was kind of debating whether to get or not, because well, I, I like this movie here. It was one of my favorites, but um, the thing I don't like about this was it was 
cracked right there you can tell so I was just like what the hey if it's 10 cents whatever if it plays it plays if not then I'll donate it to Goodwill but or just keep it in my collection whichever just for the case let's see Lion of Oz and the back part is messed up and I'm not happy about that it's in there oh it's Nick porn okay that's kind of odd but thank you Nick porn for writing on my tape next one same thing with this one here it was just an empty clamshell and as I was digging through the box I found the tape so cool there's that and last but not least this was actually from the first VHS bin and it's uh, American Tail and American Tail Five O Goes West clamshells. So that's cool. I was disappointed I didn't find the soft copy of American Tail, but maybe I'll find it at a later date. And there's Five O Goes West. Five O Goes West was one of my favorite tapes back when I was a child. What's this behind there? Oh, that is cool. One of the other one has something like that too. But anyways, American Tale was one of my favorite movies back when I was a child and everything. Nothing. I remember watching Five O' Goes West a lot when I was a kid. I never watched American Tale, so I'm excited about this one. I'll probably put this one on after I get done um, filming. But, um, yeah, I'm seriously happy about getting those, which I already got. I also got the um, soft. Um, so one, this is the one I had when I was a kid, so that's why I got this one as well. Not to mention the fact that it was 10 cents, but it brings up lots of memories for me. I remember when I was a kid, I bugged my parents to get me American Tail, the first one right here, and they never seemed to get it for me. But I had American Tail Five Oaks West, and I seemed to watch that. Uh, a lot so I'm happy to finally have well, I wanted to get the soft paper copy of uh, American Tale but uh, see you next time so let's move on to the last part here which is up here and s I got these today which this is just a newspaper that I got in the mailbox I had it covering so you guys want to see what's underneath it but let's get to it I actually stopped off at GameStop today and bought a couple games I got the two pack of Saints Row for $24.99 that's basically uh, $12.50 per game and I heard it was better than um, Grand Theft Auto disc is um, good condition for the first one and the second one bleh, whatever which is weird this is the platinum they gave me the platinum one for Saints Row 2 oh, I, I guess they gave me the platinum, platinum for both of them but when I just looked at it it looked different but yeah, I'm happy about that I Surprisingly enough, I have never played Halo 3 all the way through, so I saw $10 and it's just like, eh, I guess so. So, it's complete, which I guess this one over here was not complete. It just has that thing in there, and that's, that's all that came with it. So if anyone has the manual sword, I'd like to have them. I'll trade you something for it, <coughs> just to have, but um, the disc is, eh. Alright, condition. Actually, when I bought these games, I walked out of the store and I looked down with what I had and I gave the lady this case here for Halo 3. And when she went to get the game, she gave me the generic GameStop case. I walked out, paid for it, walked out of the store, looked at what I got, and I just pissed because I knew what I grabbed. I walked back there and I was just like, so, are am I getting the generic GameStop case for this, or am I getting what I grabbed? And she's like, oh, here, let me switch that out for you. I was like, uh, thanks. 
Uh, also, as I was there, I pre-ordered Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I put $5 on it, so I guess that I can do payments, so I figured um, $10 every two weeks till it comes out, which I'm not even sure when it comes out. Um, figured it would stay on here. Probably, that's probably the date right there or something. But, um... $10 every two weeks, every payday, put $10 on it, and then I'll get it by the time it comes out. So that's cool. She said I can do payments on it, so that's cool. So I'm happy to have. Finally, Halo 3, I was looking for Halo ODST, I think it is, and Halo Wars, and Halo, um, the first, the other Halo games, but I found this one, so I was happy about that. And... I was kind of trying to go more for my money, so I heard Saints Row 2 was really good. Which, um, Saints Row 1, they had priced at basically, um, $17, so, uh, 17 both ways for that one, and then for that one singly, so. It was cheaper going this way, so basically I got three new games today. So that was cool. Let's, uh, go on to my Goodwill. Um, records, which I, I'm actually finally glad to get some games that I have been wanting for a while, but, um, here we go, Beatles, uh, 1967 through 1970, oh, do 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 Elvis, welcome to my world, I got a, um, extension cord because I took the one for my stereo set over there and put it in the garage I got my VCR and TV so I need a new one of those just to add that in there next one Elvis for everyone yep and I was very happy to see this one here because it was one that I've been wanting which they had it at a uh, antique shop up in Olympia for like $25 or something like that but a dollar Elvis Golden Records, which I have this one on CD, and I was happy to get that. If you haven't noticed, I am a really big Elvis fan. And last but not least, Elvis. Not sure. This Elvis, it looks like. So, oh, Elvis, you're, you'll never walk alone. So, that's cool. Um, all that that there um the dvds and tapes which i was happy to get this sealed i saw this actually this was from um yesterday uh i saw this tape here at nifty thrifty for a dollar um un, uh, it was open it was at factory sealed and i decided to wait up hold off because me and all my family love this movie during the well, anytime, especially the Christmas season, because of Ralphie. But it was open, and I decided to pass on it, and went down to Treasures 2, the bookstore, and found this one stealed, and they had their price for the VHS tapes, 3 for a dollar. So I was just like, uh, yeah, uh, I think, I'm, I'm, I'm there, dude. So I, I did that, um... 10 cents each for the VHS tapes from yesterday's thrift store. I guess 50 cents per um, plushy thing at yesterday's and the Star Wars box set from Goodwill, um, toy there from Goodwill, and my new coffee cup. So, yeah, that is. Let's see if I can get through this with the battery saying, but uh, thanks everyone for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. You can like me on Facebook now, YouTube, or Facebook.com slash YouTube Secondhand Hunter. Uh, no spaces, and you can like me on or follow me on Twitter. That's um, twitter.com slash secondhand hunt R, no E for hunter. So secondhand hunt R, no spaces. And that's everything. I appreciate all your guys' support, all the comments, and everything. And if you liked, if you would like on Facebook, that'd be sweet. If you followed on Twitter, that'd be awesome as well. So. Um, yeah, make sure you go and do that. So, thanks everyone. 
uh, for watching. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, check out Facebook and Twitter. Twitter, and I'll check you guys next time. Thanks for watching. See you later.